supposed to wear in Manila. And it's gonna be hella killer. It's gonna be what? Hella killer. Killer in Manila. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? <laughs> What's your favorite Michael Jackson song? You know that uh, Phil Collins Cadbury's advert? What animal played the drums? You know that like animal that like has a shell and it like covers itself? Armadillo. <laughs> that was really bad. Apologies for the dad jokes, but we've made it to Manila. We're staying in a place called Mandaluyon, I think it's pronounced, which is east of Manila. And even though we're uh, outside of what would be considered the city centre, the traffic here is incredible. It's just non-stop. I've been watching it for 10 minutes now and people are just not moving whatsoever. Um, our Airbnb host, she uh, a journey. She said a journey for her that normally takes 30 minutes took two and a half hours today and that is just because of the Christmas shopping period that's coming up and people coming into the city centre uh, just to buy Christmas gifts and that is having such a knock-on effect with the traffic. That's how bad traffic is here. So hallway, um, I'm just going to show you this giant billboard and the terrible traffic which is below it. Uh, so you can see it. This is... Uh, we're like 40 floors up and uh, you can kind of like open the window still which is a bit daunting. I'm just going to stick my uh, phone out. This is the traffic. Uh, it's, it's about 5.30 now so yeah, it's probably rush hour. Well, it is rush hour. And this is just this uh, traffic moving. The red lights and the tail lights, they're just not moving at all. And this road just stretches along the whole way. So if I come around this side, it's the exact same scene. All the way It's crazy. So it's nice to go to Manila, um, because we've been on the beach uh, for a while. We've um, come from you know, Port Princesa, which was a, a, sm a small city, um, like a town really. And then we went to El Nido, which is you know, a, a touristy beach hub, and then Boracay as well, which is also a touristy beach hub. Um, and now we're in Manila, um, so it's, it's nice to be in kind of like a, uh, an apartment where we can do some washing and just chill out and have our own space for a bit. And also see the city. Um, we like to, you know, run around and view, view the sights, the city, as, as much as we like beach holidays. So yeah, the downside to Miller is that we're on the 40th floor and we're still getting cockroaches and lots of cockroaches. I think um, I've already seen about five in our apartment already and uh, it's, a, it's a really nice apartment so uh, it's not dirty or anything. And, um, I don't like cockroaches. night there was uh, thunderstorms they were pretty cool to watch they were like con constant lightning um, so we just kind of had a, a lazy morning in our lovely apartment today the 
we had a lazy morning because uh, we didn't want to have rush hour um, on the MRT, on the tube. Uh, and this is not rush hour and it is packed. A really cozy apartment with like a sofa and a kitchen so we just kind of stayed in and watched the rain from our window uh, 40 stories up which is really nice and then today we have braved the MRT which is the the tube for you people back in Britain um, and made it to Rizal Park Rizal Rizal Park also known as Lunetta Park um, it's gonna rain but it's okay because we've been on a sweaty MRT. It's been so busy for an hour, so rain would be nice right about now. Manila is so big that the way to get around is probably by car or by MRT. If you dare. What was also fun about the MRT was that the machines gave change, but we only had a hundred. Um, so the total was what forty. So it was 40 pesos and we got 60 pesos back, all in one peso coins. So I sound like a one-man band at the minute because they're all in my pocket, jingling away. So we're going to have to spend it on some ice cream. got them all below us so we bought some uh, some eggs and some food so we're just gonna cook at home tonight to save some money and also appreciate cooking because we've been eating out for the last like two months so it's nice to have our own little kitchen go oh my god Tesco malted milk can we get some how much is that it's like one pound fifty for some malted milk it's worth it Put ball says Kodak and Kodak. Is that in the store? Yeah, you just said it. A nice home cooked meal. Pigeons and leaves. And I'm finally, hopefully, gonna send my postcards from Palawan, El Nido, uh, to my grandparents. Hopefully, they have stamps. Sorry, my nose is disgusting because I've had a cold, so it's all dry skin, so bear with me. Uh, postcards are posted! So, I think they were 15 pesos, which is like, maybe like 20, 20p, 30p. And the lady was really nice, and she said that they'll take two weeks uh, to arrive. So, they're on their way. And now, we're going to head towards Manila Bay Walk, which is like a two kilometer uh, promenade looking out onto Manila Bay. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna go for a walk. We haven't really done much recently, so we're gonna have a nice walk and then we'll probably end up in the mall and we'll eat something and we'll look around for about four hours.
in Greenbelt 5. Um, I think there's a 4, a 3, a 2 and a 1 somehow. We just don't know how to get there. Honestly, the shopping malls here are just... They go on and on and on. It's crazy. You could spend, like, days in here. Not hours, days. 